Hi, my name is Mr. Tripp. I'm a sixth grade science teacher. Forgive me, I'm not a physics teacher, so I might mess up some of these concepts. Um, but a series of video has struck YouTube claiming that they can make a high definition speaker with a penny and a paper plate for under a buck. Well, thanks to TeacherTube and other science teacher that I've been in uh, communication with, I think I might have an answer to, to how I can make a paper plate speaker. Well, first off, let me explain what sound is. Sound is vibration of particles which are passed through longitudinal waves which get transferred to your ear. All that means is, is sound is something that's vibrating and it's going on a back and forth motion which gets to you. Now, to understand a speaker, there are really only three basic parts to a speaker. Um, if you looked at a speaker before, you know at the bottom of it there is usually a magnet. And then above the magnet, it's, there's an electromagnet. And then connected to the electromagnet is some type of, of material, paper, cloth, or probably styrofoam or something. That, that's the part that vibrates, which sends the, the, the sound to our ears. Now, um, you're probably wondering what an electromagnet is. You might have seen a science experiment in the past where they take a um, piece of a, a nail and some wire and, and wrap the wire around it uh, about a hundred times I did. This is magnetic wire. It's not your typical wire. It's magnet wire um, that I got from Radio Shack. And you can see that right now there is no magnet, magnetic pool to this. But if I take this wire and, I, and I've um, had to strip the, the ends, put this there, now you can see that I have an electromagnet. I can increase it by adding more batteries or, I believe, more coils, but, but it's a pretty strong magnet. If I take rid of the electricity, the magnet is stopped. Now, what creates a speaker is an electromagnet and a permanent magnet. And when electricity goes into the electromagnet, it then creates this resistance with the permanent magnet, which then creates a vibration, which is connected to some type of device, which vibrates, which sends a signal out. To create the speaker, one thing that the high definition speaker on YouTube did not have is a magnet, a permanent magnet. I am using rare earth magnets. They're very small magnets. You can see the pennies right here, and the magnet is a lot smaller than the penny. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my rare earth magnet, and I'm going to tape them to the bottom of a piece of aluminum foil. Then I'll take the aluminum foil and wrap the paper plate up with aluminum foil with a magnet attached. Something else that I have discovered by, by trying this many, many times is that I needed a stronger stereo. The, my computer wouldn't work, MP3 players wouldn't work, small stereo, CD player was, would not work. I had to use a, um, a larger stereo. I actually even tried um, my receiver and I guess that was too powerful. That didn't work. So I mentioned to see, uh, it's another experiment to find out what stereo equipment would, would be best to, to make this work. So now I have my, my magnet, my aluminum foil, my paper plate, and then I need, of course, my penny. And I'll put my penny uh, right over the magnet. But I, I'm using just a, a regular stereo. You can see that volume's here. Here's my, my headphone jack. I'm going to plug this in. I spliced it like many of us did, wasting our headphones, trying to get it to work. And now I'm going to take um, this wire, and I'm going to make sure I put it right over where my magnet is, and then put the penny there, tape the penny to here. Now let's turn up our volume and see what happens. I'll show you that it's working. I'll, I'll unplug it and you'll see that the volume will get a lot louder. Now I've taken the electromagnet that I made earlier and connected it to my speaker wires into the stereo. And, and you'll notice that the electromagnet plays probably the most important role in this, in this system. It's a lot louder. You can actually make a speaker out of almost anything with using an electromagnet and a magnet. I'm going to post a few more videos in the future showing how you can make a, a speaker out of almost anything. Thanks for watching.